Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to another bundle bonus video. This time I'm featuring the Brilliant Wings stamp set and coordinating dies. So let's get started. The Butterfly Brilliance Bundle features the stamp set and the coordinating Brilliant Wings. You buy the bundle and then I provide you the bonus. Two videos using this bundle and links to my demonstrator friends who are also making videos featuring the same bundle. So let me show you my project. This is my second project. And I think this technique is called telescope and maybe spotlight. It combines two techniques. So here we're using the background of the butterflies and then we're coloring the inside portion. So let me show you this technique. I have a piece of scrap paper and a piece of white cardstock that's cut at four by five and a quarter. And for our metric friends, that's 10 by 14.4 centimeters. You can check out my blog, stamping here at Dot blogspot.com for all the measurements. The link is in the description below, so check it out. And then I have another piece of white cardstock, and this one is cut at two and a quarter by four or 6.4 centimeters by 10.2. And I will just layer these. Now I'm not um, measuring, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not tacking them together. If you have repositionable glue, you can use that. I um, will not be using that, but that's certainly an option. And here's my stamp set. Now this is a background stamp set and it is one big stamp and I put it on my F block. I don't have the sticker on it just because it's such a large stamp, it sticks very easily. And I'll be using my Memento ink. And because it's so large, I'm gonna take the ink pad to the stamp like this, and I'm gonna ink it very well. I'm just gonna keep dabbing my ink pad on top of the stamp until I feel like it's inked everywhere. And this is an important uh, part of the making this is to ink your image well. And the other important part is that you want to make sure the transfer of ink to the paper, uh, you want to make sure that you're given enough time for that. Now there will be gaps because um, you won't get right to the edge uh, between the two, but that'll be hidden by the Calypso coral. So eyeball that you're smaller piece of cardstock is lined up within the larger piece and then carefully lift up your inked image and you want to center this on top of your cardstock so make sure it goes all the way to the top and that you're centered right and left and then place it down carefully and this is the important part is you want to make sure you get pressure all over the image because that there will be a small gap between the small cardstock on top and the larger piece in the bottom. Now it will cover the gap, but you wanna make sure you get even pressure so you're, you have a, a good transfer of ink to the cardstock. So I'm pressing on my block all around the edges and in the center to make sure I get a good transfer. And now, I'm gonna lift it up and you can see it's transferred very well. I'm very pleased with how that looks. To clean this image, I've used a Memento, which is a water-based ink. So I have my chamois and I can just bring my chamois right to my stamp set and wipe away the ink, which is nice. And the chamois just absorbs the ink. I love, I love the chamois. So to complete the technique, I'm going to be using my alcohol blends, my blends markers. The color cord, uh, colors I'm using 
are the combination Calypso Coral Light and Dark and the Daffodil Delight Combo Light and Dark. I'm going to start with my Dark Calypso Coral and I'm using the smaller blunt end tip. I just feel it gives me more control. And I've decided that all of the bodies of my butterflies are going to be dark calypso coral. Now these markers do bleed. So you may want to put a piece of scrap paper underneath and get close to the edges, but not over the edges because it's, they, they will bleed outside of the stamped image. The, the other um, thing that I've decided with my design is that I'm going to outline a lot with the Calypso Coral and the outside. And this one also I'll outline. But you really can use any uh, colors or patterns. And the light clips of coral on the next layer. And then I'll just keep layering colors, uh, continuing with the clips of coral the dark daffodil and the light daffodil delight. Now, in the interest of time, I've pre-colored one. So I'm gonna set this one aside and bring out the one that I have already colored. So you can see that it's the bodies are the dark calypso coral. I've outlined them in dark and then light calypso coral and come back in with uh, the dark and the light Daffodil Delight. So I'm done with my alcohol markers. And the uh, next pieces that I, the rest of the pieces, I have a scrap of Calypso Coral, which I'll use for the sentiment on the front. I have a layer of Calypso Coral for my white, and this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, or seven by 10.8 centimeters. I have a piece of white that uh, cardstock that's four by five and a quarter or 10 by 14.4. That's the inside layer. And then my base is Calypso Coral and it is five and a half by eight and a half or 14.9 by 21 centimeters. So let's start assembling. So I'll fold my card base in half and then burnish it on that score line. So I'll be stamping the outside sentiment with a note of thanks from the Wildlife Wonder Set. I've left the inside blank so I can personalize um, when I send my card to the specific occasion that I'm sending thanks for. Because you know, very variety of things. So I typically leave my note, uh, my thank, thank you notes blank on the inside. Um, but for our note of thanks, I'm going to be also stamping in Memento Tuxedo Black. Let me do that. Oh, not that caught. And just a random. And I'll use my paper snips. And I'm just going to cut around this sentiment. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just generally free flowing my cuts. Make it trim it off this little pointy area you don't like so much. There we go. Now we're ready to assemble. Let's set this aside, bring out my card base. Now I'll be putting my blank insert in. And I'll be able to personalize this later to 
whoever I am thanking. This is on the inside. I'll just center that. And then for the outside, I am going to adhere my butterfly background. And now for this layer, I also will adhere this. And this is so beautiful. These alcohol markers just are gorgeous. And these colors, it almost looks like a piece of DSP, but I colored it. And I'll be adding some soft succulent satin ribbon. And this also is from the Crane of Fortune bundle in the January to June mini. And I want a piece that just wraps around the bottom a little bit. Take my snips and cut this a little bit longer. And then I'll be using glue dots to adhere it to my piece here. And so approximately one inch or two and a half centimeters from the bottom. I'll just turn this over. Pick up a glue dot with my pick your tool. Pick your pick tool. No, oh, where did it go? There it is. That looks about right. Wrap that around and do the same for the other end. Glue dot. And there's our focal piece and it's ready to be layered on top of our front image. And you can see that the piece of cardstock, the clips of cardstock covers the gap. Now I'll be using the, some liquid adhesive to adhere this to the front. And being mindful of covering that gap. You can see how these lines on the butterflies uh, coordinate with the background. Just really cool technique. To adhere my sentiment, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and another glue dot. I'll pick this up. And I'm gonna put this right on the back side. I'm gonna use two just to secure, make sure it's secure to the ribbon. And place that right in the center. I wanted to add some bling, some champagne rhinestones. And using the Take, take your pick, I'll pick up some of these small rhinestones and fill in these blank spots between the butterflies. And then one down here. And there's the final card, a note of thanks using the butterfly brilliance and the brilliant wings dies. Although I didn't use the dies on this, you certainly could have cut out a butterfly um, detailed image and laid her on top. Thank you so much for joining me for this bundle bonus video. Like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you even more bundle bonus videos and even more fun projects. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Bye!